Stan Jabalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One Good Vibrations, uh, to answer a question posed by a viewer that I think probably a lot of people have. And it has to do with biconical antennas and how you design them. What I'd recommend you do, uh, and I'm rather surprised uh, that, uh, that the viewer didn't think of this, because I just uh, did a little bit of research of my own, because I find it an interesting subject as well. So I went to my website, sciencewriter.net. That ought to be easy enough for you to remember, and, and if you have trouble with that, just do a Google search on Stan Jibalisco. Make sure you use the phrase box and you'll get this. And then all you need to do after that is type after the uh, sciencewriter.net is type fa faves, F-A-V-E-S dot H-T-M. That's my online bookmark site. I will provide a link to this site right here in the description of this video. Go to Google Advanced Search and then in this exact word or phrase type biconical antenna. And here you go a whole bunch of links to biconical antenna as a term and there are plenty of designs that you can find on here I'm sure I'm not going to do uh, someone's work for them because number one I don't have the time uh, I, 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 I have enough trouble <laughs> finding the time just to carry on my normal business but let's just uh, by biconical antenna design calculator Let's try that. What's going on with this? Design of a wide band biconical antenna. Uh, it's a PDF. I'm not going to link to that because there may be copyright issues. But uh, that's uh, all I really have to offer, uh, my friend. Uh, it's all that uh, I know how to do. I am uh, an amateur radio operator. I start with general designs and then tweak them until they work and I don't really I don't really try to construct things from specific design uh plans. I just wing it. I just fool around until I stumble into the right hole is what I told my editor. He liked that one. That's the way I uh, perfect my photographs for my books is I, I don't really know how to use the camera. I just hit buttons and stumble around until I happen to find something that works and that's all I can really recommend for you. If you're an amateur radio operator uh, then you can you probably have a similar attitude. Uh, I'm not an engineer by profession. Uh, I, some people call me an antenna guru but I have a confession to make. I'm stupider than I look. I'm stupider than I sound, if that's possible. But this is, a, I, at least I'm smart enough to do this, and this is what I would recommend uh, that you do, my friend, is just start clicking on links until you find something that looks like it's what you want. That's what I would do, and that's the best I have to offer. But I'm interested too. I'm going to fool around a little bit with this, but I'm not going to do it as a video, uh, as a, again, as I said, because of copyright issues. We can go to the Wikipedia article and get an idea here of biconical antenna. Uh, you know, just there's no copyright issues with providing a link to Wikipedia. I, I'm a little scared of that and a little bit concerned because people have violated my copyright 
and I don't like it. There isn't all, I also found there isn't a cotton picking thing I can do about it. But there you go. Take it from there. I'm sorry I can't uh, provide specific designs and design plans, but when you provide a specific design for one band or one uh, range of frequencies, you're always going to wonder, well, what, what about others? But with a general design, you start from an equally ignorant st standing point, no matter where you uh, want to go. You, in other words, you're equally stupid, no matter which way you look at it. And well, I am. So that's that. As you can see, I'm a little out of sorts. But what else is new? I'm always out of sorts. Stan Gibalisco, W1GV, CW operator, da 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 da